Hello there. In my last video I got a request from someone for to make a Beam MP server. So there I am. Today I'm going to show you how you can install the server, set up your ports, lock your IP address and install some mods. So yeah, if you're excited for today's video leave a like, please subscribe and yeah let's get into it. Same with the Minecraft server, you need to add a new folder on your desktop. So go to new folder and name it Beam Server. It's easiest. I will just set it up right here next to the Minecraft server. The second step is you need to head out into the description and copy the first link. This will take you, as you can see, to the Beam MP server download file. Download the right client for you. So today I'm be using Windows, so I'm going to be using downloading the Windows client. Download the server, go to your Beam server folder and save it. As you can see, it downloaded. Close this out, open your folder and run the .exe file. We need to wait a couple of seconds before our server files are being generated. So for our third step, go to the second link in the description to your keys link. Paste it in your browser. As you can see, you need to log in with Discord. So I'll be right back with you when I logged in. Okay, I've logged in right now. Actually, the only way you can generate keys for your Beam MP server. So when you're on the dashboard, you go to generate keys. You cannot see it from me right now, but it's here on the right side. Hit create a new key and name your server. I'm just going to be calling it Jesper Tutorial and hit create. This created a key. It's blurred out for me right now because if you have the key you can actually start a server with the name of the other person. So I'm just going to be copying my key to my clipboard and adding it to the server config file. Open it with notepad. Now you see you actually have your beam mp server config. This is like the settings for your server, so if you want to change something like the maximum amount of cars, the maximum amount of players, you can change them right here. Name your Beam MP server, so I'm going to name it the same as my other server, Jasper Tutorial. And you place your authentication key between the marks. Now you've done this, save your file and copy down the over here 3814 copy down close out of this file and let's let's test the beam server again allow access as you can see we are generating more server files right now and it said all systems started successfully everything is okay we now have our server file running but if you want to our friends to join from across the internet or across the world we actually need to open up our ports first of all i'm going to show you how you can lock your ip address hit the windows key go to cmd so command prompt and hit the command ip config slash all i'm going to be blurring out my settings or my uh, internet information right here but you want to be copying down your IPv4 address your subnet mask and your default gateway if you've copied it down head out go to view network connections bottom left properties go to IPv4 paste down the things you just copied down so your IPv4 address subnet mask and default gateway uh, click the option use the following IP address if it's grayed out for you and you can add a DNS server I've added the DNS of Google I believe so yeah just copy down your IPv4 submit mask and default gateway you just uh, copied earlier hit ok hit ok and exit out next you need to enable your firewall so the port will actually come through go to uh, Windows firewall and advanced security and go into the inbound rules. Add a new rule, go to port, next, TCP first, paste down your port 3814 that you copied down earlier and choose specific local port. Allow the connection, allow all these three and name it. I'm just going to name it beam MP. Finish. Add another rule port again now UDP 
specific port. Allow the connection, all three, name, beam, and P. Finish. Go to outbound rules, add a new rule, port, next, TCP, paste down, allow the connection, next, all three, name, beam, and P. Finish. And for the last time, port, next, UDP, paste down, allow the connection, next, all three, next, name, beam, and P. Okay, you've actually enabled BeamMP to access the internet through your firewall, so that's great. Close this out and close the final file. Next up, you need to open your port forwarding or port triggering settings on your router. I do not know how to do this for every specific router, so just look up a tutorial for your router number and follow it over there so you can get into the admin console. You can actually change your port forwarding or port triggering settings. Uh, hit the button below that says add custom service, name your as custom service, so I'm just going to name it the beam and P. Choose CDP or an UDP, paste down your port, make sure your internal port is the same as your external port, and choose your device out of your devices. Mine is 19 and click apply. As you can see our beam MP server has been added to our port list now and you maybe need to reboot your router for it to work next up is actually installing mods for your server so head into the third link in the description and you will be taken to the beam and g forum and the mods section just choose a mod you want to add to your server i'm just going to do it right now real quick i found this mod of this cool looking car so i just want to add it to my server go to download now and head into your beam mp server file or folder sorry go to resources go to client and save the zip folder right here do not unzip the file this is uh, actually the way you need to install the mod that is how you install basic mods like cars for your server and i'm now going to show you how you can actually change the server map found a cool map i want to install to my server so i can hit download now Go to your Beam server, resources, client, and save your map. Hit save. As you can see, it finished downloading, so head out. Go to your Beam server. Go to resources, client, and you can see your map you just downloaded. Open it, levels, and copy down what's over here, so the name of your map. Close it. Head back into your server config notepad and you can change your map from grid map v2 to your just downloaded downloaded new map save it close out and let's start and actually uh, test the server right now as you can see loaded two mods so our mods worked and i'll be right back with you when the server has started as you can see all systems started successfully everything is okay so this is the time where you can check your if your server is actually running. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, if we want to be joining our server, we actually need to, to download the client side of our server on the PC we want to be playing uh, Beam on. So let's just save this to our desktop. Let's open up the installer. Select English. I accept. Next. 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 Install. Finish. So it's going to be launching allow it and hit launch okay you can see you have your added multiplayer tab yes yes continue login with your bmp account uh, i'll just be playing as a guest right now and if your server is set to public you should actually see your server over here i do not have my server set to public so we need to connect using the direct connect first look up your ip address if you do not know your ip address google go what is my ip and copy down the ipc around here paste in your ip address and the port that is like the standard of from beam is should already be there hit connect 
and we should be installing our mods as you can see so our new map is loading up and after that our car should be downloading and as you can see we're actually loading up our server right now okay and we are in i actually have no idea how to play this game <laughs> i've never oh yeah so vehicles so as you can see our downloaded modded car is over here uh, we have a lot of different, different variants for now i'm just going to take this looks cool Base current. Okay. And on our own server right now. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, comment down below if you want me to make another tutorial on another game, because this is actually a request from someone. And yeah, if you've enjoyed, uh, subscribe. Yeah, thank you. See you in the next one.